question around um, executive management, sponsorship, and that sort of thing. So, are there any senior managers in the crowd? So, so if someone comes to you and says, I've got this great idea, and I think that we should maybe look at the opportunities around this, what do, what, what do you want to hear from them? Do you want to hear from them this great idea? Or what else do you want to hear? What are the things that they're missing that they're not telling you that you would support that otherwise you think you're wasting your time? <laughs> this will be interesting because I'm also the, 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 the social media person in our company. So. <laughs> um, I mean, but ultimately there's going to be some bottom line in, in the business. I mean, you know, I was thinking uh, what I heard a minute ago is that I mean, change and change management's been going on for hundreds of years, right? I mean, every business has felt inertia but not wanting to, you know, stop doing this or start doing that. And so this is this has always been going on. I think the only difference is what you just said, is sort of where it's coming from this time. It's coming from 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 the grassroots or maybe from the bottom of the chain, whether it's maybe middle or upper management that we're going after the latest management flavor or process or procedure in the past, and that eventually one of those can go for. Um, when you approach your senior manager, you just gotta make sure that you put some terms around it, that they say it's not just to look good, and it's not just to be where everyone else is, and it's not just, you know, because everyone's doing it, that there's gotta be some translatable, translatable benefit about, about presence or building your brand or whatever. I mean, I think those, those things mean something. We do look at it. You know, website hits and if they're coming from somewhere else that we've never had it before. That uh, those are important things. And so yeah, I mean, the company I'm at wasn't doing anything at all. In this, uh, you know, they, were, they, they just had a web page. It was like blog, it was like tweet, it was like nothing going on. Before, Who do you work for? I work for a very small uh, company, uh, an IT company, a satellite communications company of 23 people. And uh, you know, because I'd always been a blogger and a tweeter for years, I said. I think they all sort of knew that they liked to do this, but they didn't have anybody who was doing that day to day. And because I did, it became easy for me to, to do that for them. So having someone, uh, maybe, maybe it wasn't such a big problem where I was, they, they sort of knew or felt like they, they liked to do that. And as long as they could do it without impacting anything else, then why not, really? And uh, so I made that easy, easy for them to do. But still, you know, the, the CEO still wants to know you know, really, I mean, is it, is it going to translate into something? Is it, is it going to, at the end of the day? Because I think that's a really common experience for maybe um, quite a number of people in the room where you're the kind of geek dude, nerd, woman, person, whatever, uh, who knows about social media. So you get, you know, tapped on the head. Can you find this up, please, and fix it for us because we don't know how to do it. Um, if it happens, uh, yeah. Yeah, so maybe Katie can jump in here because the challenge with turning uh, social media into something that translates to business value is where you live. <laughs> um, I think, I mean, the first thing I'd like to say is that numbers are just as creative as, as anything else that you get to work with in communications. <laughs> so really, um, coming from a planning discipline, it's all about where you stand and how you look at things. and that will inform what it is that you think you can get out of it. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of, of learning from others or stealing from others. When you, when you have a look around the, the notion of control, have a think about the, um, the Google business model, where they gave, they ceded control, 20% uh, of control of the output of their organisation back to workers. And when you have a look at what the value of the output was around that 20%, I think it's driving upwards of 50% of Google's business. Like their revenue is actually being driven... Can, can you explain that a bit more? Okay, 20% 20% what does that mean? Of anyone who works at Google yeah. is a project that, that, knows. that they essentially have entire, like, control over. So that it's a self-directed project that they can collaborate with, with anybody. And that 20% of time that Google has ceded control over is driving 50% of the revenue of the organization. So the thing is that social media is not an end point. It is a catalyst. It is a facilitator of behavior. So 
um, you know, what I love about it is, is looking at how it is that people can collaborate and innovate and talk to each other in order to drive different kinds of business value. So,